We all need that one part of our home that's our comfort zone. The place we go to unwind, relax, and just be the truest version of ourselves. For me, that's my gaming setup. How can you make that space tailored exactly for you? Well, stick around. We'll cover a few options to get you started. I'm Josh, the social planner at Alienware, and today I'm going to show you a couple ways you can upgrade your space to improve your comfort, immersion, and personal style for under $150. Before we get into all that, let's first give a quick look at our base setup. Of course, everyone's setup is gonna be a little bit different, but today we're working with the X16 along with the AW2523HF monitor. And for peripherals, we have the AW920K and the AW620M. Now let's dive in. Making sure your setup promotes comfort is pivotal for your posture, productivity, and your general well-being. Kicking things off, adding a footrest under your desk can help you get comfortable during those weekend gaming marathons, regardless of what chair you're using. Investing in a footrest can also help to improve your circulation so your legs aren't falling asleep from sitting in a weird position. Now for the good stuff. The Alienware 620M wireless gaming mouse makes a great addition to a setup if you're looking to maximize the comfort at your desk. Technically, it is sculpted for right-handed folks, but this gem is one of the most comfortable mice I've gotten to use recently. That being said, any sculpted mouse can help reduce any unwanted strain on your hands and forearm. Once your toes and hands are feeling pretty comfy, you may want to consider adding a wrist rest to give you a little added support and really cover the whole gamut. We aren't made of steel, or at least I'm not, so the added padding can help keep my wrist in the sweet spot and feeling nice and supported. Now that we've gotten comfort out of the way, let's take a look at some of the accessories you may want to consider adding to your setup. Maybe you're finally ready to take the step and join voice chat in your favorite Discord server. Or you maybe want to try your hand at streaming. If that sounds like you, there's a few extra items you may want to consider to make room for on your desk to really give your setup some extra oomph. For starters, you'll want to be sure that you're keeping those comms clean. Adding a USB mic can provide you with a bit more control over the background noise a webcam or laptop mic might capture. There's nothing worse than peeking the mic because your roommate slams the door when they get home from work or your dog decides to bark at the mailman while you're in the middle of a match. You can even consider pairing it with apps like NVIDIA Broadcast to ensure you're coming in crystal clear. Now that our friends can hear us loud and clear in-game, it could be a good idea to invest in something that makes muting the game lobby a little bit easier. In other words, hotkeys. It's all about the hotkeys. Open Steam, check. Fire up Photoshop, easy. Go live, you got it. In an arm's length, you can do just about anything you'd like to with these fully customizable buttons on something like a Stream Deck or a similar tool. And for moments when you want to be immersed in the sounds of your favorite games, but have things to do later, you should consider adding some external speakers to your setup, especially if you're trying to avoid that dreaded indentation in your hair before date night. If you guys know of any other solutions to that, please let me know down in the comments. One last accessory you may want to consider adding is a ring light to your setup, just to make sure you're capturing your good side on stream or in your latest YouTube video, or even during a big interview for your dream job. Most ring lights plug in using an extra USB port on the back of your PC, so it shouldn't be in the way of any of your peripherals or sitting on top of your monitor. Adding some extra accessories is a great way to elevate your gaming experience. But you may find yourself feeling cramped, so it's time to check out a few ways you can reduce the clutter on your desk. One of the most crucial ways you can improve your focus and reduce clutter on your desk is by investing in some good cable management. Grabbing yourself a cable management kit or some cable clips can work wonders when it comes to clearing out those pesky wires and keeping your desk clean. As a suggestion, I'd recommend routing the cables on the underside of your desk, then down the leg closest to an outlet. It doesn't even take too long either. Just grab a flashlight, put on a podcast, and you're off to the races. And once the underbelly of your setup is sorted, you might decide that your journey doesn't end there. If you'd like to take desk organization a step further, I would definitely recommend looking into some monitor arms, either a dual or single arm depending on your setup, to lift those monitors and line them up in the perfect configurations for your needs. Plus, once you get those monitors off your desk, it'll provide even more space below for your accessories, peripherals, or trinkets. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Most monitor arms are universal for whichever monitor you currently have, but it's always a good idea to double check the VESA display dimensions. For example, Alienware monitors have 100 by 100 millimeter dimensions for the brackets. Finally, now that you've cleared out all that space on and around your desk, you can add a desk organizer if you choose to keep all your notes, art supplies, D&D dice, or any other items you need at your desk within reach. Minimizing clutter is an excellent way, in my opinion, to make your space feel like somewhere you want to kick back and relax after a long day at work. Finally, if you're looking to upgrade your setup, it's important that your space feels like an extension of yourself. 
there are many ways you can express yourself in your gaming space, through lighting, artwork, or even just trinkets you've collected along the way. For me, my favorite way to express who I am is by having artwork on my desk that reflects the things that are most important to me. Just grab a nice photo, commission some artwork, or find a print of your favorite game. The opportunities are truly endless. You can really let your personality shine. Figurines can also be great to have on your desk, reminding you of your favorite games, D&D characters, superheroes, you name it. Personally, I play a lot of TTRPGs online, so this little guy always helps me think about how my character would react in certain situations. Plus, I get to show a visualization of what he looks like, so my party gets to picture him during all our crazy adventures. And he looks pretty cool too. But I could talk about D&D for hours, so let's move on. Another way you can add some flair to your setup is by ditching a singular mouse pad in favor of a wider desk mat. These come in all types of sizes and patterns, so it's an easy way to add a pop of color to your desk. Just make sure you measure your desk for the right size. You wanna make sure you pick the right fit. You don't wanna have it hang over on one edge or it's so small you can barely fit your keyboard. Finally, adding some RGB lights to your desk setup can be another great way to make your space that much more enjoyable. Here you can find the lighting and ambiance that best affects your mood and customize it when you're playing games, watching movies, working from home, and the list really goes on. And if you have any Alienware products, you can set your alien effects to match so your whole setup can have the right vibe. Overall, personalization is all about curating your space so that it fully reflects who you are and what interests you. So there you have it. There are just a few ways you can elevate your setup. Which upgrades are you going to add to your setup? Let us know down in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Alienware content. GG, y'all.